Welcome to Tesla Global, the home of the latest Tesla news. Today we take a look at Tesla versus the largest producer of batteries in China. Without any hesitation let's get into the video. World's largest battery maker Cal battles to stay on top Chinese group's valuation hits $186 billion in just 10 years on soaring demand for electric vehicles. The world's largest maker of electric vehicle batteries unveiled a new technology last month, a cell that runs not on lithium but sodium, a cheap and abundant material that can be extracted from salt. Innovation is in the genes of Cap, said Robin Zhang, the Chinese company's co-founder and chief executive, and also the driving force of our rapid development. Based in the coastal city of Ningda, better known for its tea plantations, contemporary Amperex technology has risen in less than 10 years to become the biggest global battery group by market share, supplying car makers from Tesla and BMW to domestic startup NIO. Shares in the company have gained 160% in the past year, lifting its market value to almost $186 billion, eclipsing that of every car maker bar Tesla and Toyota, and more than its leading rivals Panasonic and LG Chem combined. Zhang, born in a poor village in 1968 during the chaos of the Cultural Revolution, is now worth almost as much as Jack Ma, founder of Chinese internet giant Alibaba. His company counts nine people on the Forbes list of global billionaires, equaling the record among the world's publicly traded companies. Cal has escaped Beijing's broader clampdown on China's tech sector as it rides a wave of soaring domestic demand for electric cars. 271,000 new energy vehicles were delivered in the country in July, up 164% year-on-year, the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers said on Wednesday. But the speed of its rise, helped by Beijing's favorable policies for businesses in its vast home market, will be tough to maintain. Local challengers are intensifying their efforts to challenge its dominance. In the US and Europe it faces even greater competition from international rivals. Wu Huawei, Director of Research at the China Iwei Institute of Economics, a think tank focused on electric vehicles, said a decline in CAL's market share was inevitable. CAL's rapid growth cannot be separated from the massive space in the Chinese market and the government's support for domestic companies, he said. As policy loosens, competition is now being introduced to the whole of China's mobility battery market. Ocean High Tech which secured a 1.1 billion euro investment from Volkswagen last year, is building a cathode material plant in Hefei City as part of plans to expand its output of lithium-ion batteries. BYD, China's second-largest electric vehicle battery maker by market share, secured a supply deal last year with Ford's Chinese joint venture, its first with a global car maker. Cattle dominates global production of lithium iron phosphate batteries, which use iron and phosphate rather than expensive metals such as nickel and cobalt. These batteries are used by Tesla in its short and medium range electric cars made in Shanghai, some of which are exported to Europe. The company has managed to reduce the costs of these batteries well below the $100 per kilowatt hour level that makes EVs cost competitive with petrol cars, according to analysts, through innovations such as minimizing cell casings to reduce expenditure on materials. Analysts at Chinese investment bank SIC expect CAV's battery production to increase from 200 gigawatt hours this year to more than 600 gigawatt hours by 2025, 30% of the global market. The automotive industry never likes to be beholden to one supplier but battery cell manufacturing is about scale, and CAV has scale and low cost, said John Regnard, an analyst at the Advanced Propulsion Center in the UK. You'd be foolish to say that any one company will maintain its dominance, look at Blockbuster and Nokia but in the next 5 to 10 years they have a pretty good handle on the battery market. Yet Cal faces tougher competition in the global market from established players LG Chem and Samsung SDI, according to Mark Newman, a battery executive. In May, LG Chem briefly overtook Cal as the world's largest battery maker, in terms of batteries installed in passenger cars, according to SNE Research. Outside China it's totally different, Cal is the challenger, Newman said. It will be harder for them as they don't have the scale advantage in Europe. A lot of their manufacturing scale advantage is very local. The jury is out on how successful they can be. Cattle said its first European battery plant in the German town of Arnstadt was set to be in operation by the end of next year. Navigating diplomatic friction with the EU and US, as well as trying to keep cost advantages compared with Japanese and South Korean rivals, are all new challenges for the company as it enters Europe, according to Wu. Innovation could be a key differentiator. Last year Cattle set up a lab called 21C to work on battery innovations, including solid-state batteries and sodium-ion batteries. It says it has more than 5,000 staff working in research and development. 
the company said its young scientists had pioneered the work on sodium ion batteries, which could help lower costs. Prices of lithium, which is in limited supply, have almost doubled in the past year. While sodium has a lower energy density than lithium, it is far easier and cheaper to source. Cal said it would start off by combining sodium ion with lithium ion cells. It said its sodium ion batteries had reached an energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram, just below its current lithium iron phosphate batteries, and that they could charge in just in 15 minutes and work well in low temperature environments. Billy Wu, an electrochemical manufacturing expert at Imperial College London, believes the sodium ion batteries are likely to feature in stationary energy storage first. While vehicle use was not beyond the abilities of sodium ion, he said, it's still a bit far away. And he believes the Chinese industry will maintain its edge. A few years ago a lot of the Chinese battery manufacturers were quite behind a lot of Korean and Japanese ones in terms of innovation, he said. But they have an army of PhDs and if you throw enough money at it they eventually catch up. Millions of electric cars are coming. What happens to all the dead batteries? Researchers urgently seek better ways to reuse spent cells. The battery pack of a Tesla Model S is a feat of intricate engineering. Thousands of cylindrical cells with components sourced from around the world transform lithium and electrons into enough energy to propel the car hundreds of kilometers, again and again, without tailpipe emissions. But when the battery comes to the end of its life, its green benefits fade. If it ends up in a landfill, its cells can release problematic toxins, including heavy metals. And recycling the battery can be a hazardous business, warns materials scientist Dana Thompson of the University of Leicester. Cut too deep into a Tesla cell, or in the wrong place, and it can short-circuit, combust, and release toxic fumes. That's just one of the many problems confronting researchers, including Thompson, who are trying to tackle an emerging problem, how to recycle the millions of electric vehicle, EV, batteries that manufacturers expect to produce over the next few decades. Current EV batteries are really not designed to be recycled, says Thompson, a research fellow at the Faraday Institution, a research center focused on battery issues in the United Kingdom. That wasn't much of a problem when EVs were rare. But now the technology is taking off. Several car makers have said they plan to phase out combustion engines within a few decades, and industry analysts predict at least 145 million EVs will be on the road by 2030, up from just 11 million last year. People are starting to realize this is an issue, Thompson says. Governments are inching toward requiring some level of recycling. In 2018, China imposed new rules aimed at promoting the reuse of EV battery components. The European Union is expected to finalize its first requirements this year. In the United States, the federal government has yet to advance recycling mandates, but several states, including California, the nation's largest car market, are exploring setting their own rules. Complying won't be easy. Batteries differ widely in chemistry and construction, which makes it difficult to create efficient recycling systems. And the cells are often held together with tough glues that make them difficult to take apart. That has contributed to an economic obstacle. It's often cheaper for battery makers to buy freshly mined metals than to use recycled materials. Better recycling methods would not only prevent pollution, researchers note, but also help governments boost their economic and national security by increasing supplies of key battery metals that are controlled by one or a few nations. On the one side, disposing of F batteries is a waste management problem. And on the other side, it's an opportunity for producing a sustainable secondary stream of critical materials, says Gavin Harper, a University of Birmingham researcher who studies EV policy issues. Do you think Tesla will dominate the battery market or will Cal remain the largest company at producing batteries? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video then please leave a like and if you are new to the channel then why not subscribe?